Hello guys, so we have left Asa Fontaine and we are now in the, what is it called? Tiny Farsfeld, which is a, like a little nature park in on the way to Darling once you've left Asa Fontaine or the other way around and um, they're supposed to have like all of these wildflowers and stuff and you can see there are a lot of wildflowers but currently they're still closed I thought they'd be open because we actually had a lot of rain yesterday but they seem to still be hiding away let's see if we can find some slippery It's a Monday kind of feeling on a Tuesday afternoon. I can hear Wednesday calling, but then Thursday comes too soon. And by Friday, I'm ready for a Saturday affair. Cause on Sunday, I'll be happy. The afternoon is here. It's a Monday kind of feeling on a Tuesday afternoon. I can hear Wednesday calling, but then Thursday comes too soon. And by Friday, so we are at Darling Brew now, and we've had like a beer tasting. And we're busy having nachos and the nachos are I think also made from beer which is pretty cool and Byron is having a burger but we're also phoning to say happy birthday to mom so mom happy birthday Super delicious. Not the chai latte. The cappuccino is delicious. It's so busy. I can feel it every day. And you know I love my baby. I can hardly wait. There's just something extra special when I get to see your face. Slow down for a second here. We rush around and we disappear. cat for some coffee and then I was eyeing out in this corner they have these like boxes of toffees and I love toffees so I was eyeing them out and I said to Brian I want to go look at the packages and he's like no don't go um something 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 so I was like oh, okay fine because what I didn't know next was he was taking me to the company that made all of those toffees so we're at Darling Sweet and they have some really cool flavors actually i got one that is orange and cranberry toffee so that is pretty cool there's also a tiny invitas classic toffee uh, this is actually more things of things Byron and tammy bought but didn't need so episode three i believe <laughs> there's a rooibos chai toffee I got another small one of the orange and cranberry. I think it was orange and cranberry. Orange and cranberry. And then Byron got a licorice toffee. After a quick stop at the museum. We are now at Evita Saperon. <laughs> Why is that funny? Why you got your mask on? Safety. So much to discover. Find a way to remember where I belong. We have made it to Till 
Belfast Boutique Hotel. I'm really happy to be here. So, actually, I'm gonna sit on the bed. I shouldn't because I haven't taken a picture yet. Let me go sit on the couch. Okay, so, long story short, my grandmother and grandfather, or Opa and Oma, they used to come to Tilbach a lot because it was like one of their favorite towns and they used to talk about it. So I've never been here, so I'm excited to explore the town and see what there is. So, let's go. So we're at the Tilbach Hotel um, and we wanted to unpack our bags, but the parking bay is a little bit far from the hotel and we have a lot of bags. So, uh, there's Church Street, the old street, which connects directly to the room. So, we just drove our car up to the back of the hotel, by our room, unpacking our bags, and then we'll go park back in the parking um, area. So, useful tip if you are coming to stay here. Overexposed. Good morning everybody. So we've come for breakfast this morning and we've decided to sit on the patio because the weather is actually nice. It's not snowing now. We actually have a nice day. So let me show you how cute the patio is. Almost the sea meal. It's chicken wrap, cheesecake, okay. coke. And then I And then Tammy ruined it. Yeah. Hello guys. So we are at Fane Ah oh, that, that that that's not yours. You have vegetables in the house. <laughs> so we are at the Fane Boss guest farm. And so ooh, too bright moving backwards so it is a farm with a whole bunch of rescued animals so you can come walk around the farm and you can come feed them and just spend some time walking around the countryside but yeah like I said it's really nice because all of these animals have been rescued and they are really being looked after and given a home so we are going to go and see all of the animals now and we have 
some tins filled with some food. We've got apples, carrots, bread and corn and we're going to give them a little feed. Let's go. Keep up with the small talk. First car with the brakes off. We don't need to see that far. Yeah. I see you're a hot thing. I know I'm an option. It ain't gonna break my heart. We can make a plan instead of talking. So, Byron's about to feed the emu some bread. Because I'm too scared. <laughs> attention right now they want nothing to do with me they just want their picture taken or hopefully the camera will turn into some food <laughs> but also I've had these two following me around asking for some food And it's really really nice um so like i said earlier they've got all of these rescued animals um and they've even got stuff like zebra and they've got um springbok and goats and oh my goodness the goats are greedy when you're feeding thank you <laughs> the caramel <laughs> when you're feeding the goats like male goats just push everybody out of the way because they want the food so if you go save some food for like the donkeys and the horses or anyone besides the goats <laughs> or the goat males that is um but yeah no it was really nice and the whole place is very relaxing they also have a meditation uh, room which is really cool and like a lot of effort was put into the room it's got like a stain is it's called stainless steel windows or with the different <laughs> stained glass stained glass why are you <laughs> laughing um stained glass window so it's got all these beautiful colors and these <laughs> but i'm busy laughing at me in the back it's pretty! I loved being a kunkrum. Come, fiance. Let's go to dinner. Okay. You were supposed to hold my hand, not, uh, can you see? I was being all romantic. <laughs> it's just ruining everything. <laughs> Hello, car passing by. <laughs> <laughs> Pull up with your friends in bed Come over Come over Cause I don't feel like sending one more text Come over Come over Hello guys! So we are currently doing a tour of the old church street Um, street <laughs> <laughs> we are busy doing a tour right now with Beulah who is like a historic genius of this area um, and we're currently in the old church and it's so interesting built so in built in 1743 so we'll show you around but interesting fact that Beulah told us is that they used to actually bury people under the church 
under the ground. That's interesting. People have come from Worcester, Robertson, Montague to attend every three months, as they called it, the big church. Yeah. So in that weekend, they do the confirmation, the baptism, sure. the wedding, everything. And that is a receipt, original receipt, of, the, of a slave ritual that was sold. So we were a little bit rushed at Church Street, which is not great. If you go there, I would say one hour if you're not into history, three if you are. If you it's are. very, very interesting. Like, Beulah is awesome. Yeah, like, she was great. She, she knows, knows like, so much. Everything. It's crazy. Like, yeah. yeah. Anyway. And we really wish that the, the garden was still open. Unfortunately, yeah. after lockdown, it has not been open, reopened since. But it's gorgeous and yeah. actually straight across from the honeymoon suite in the Tolbach Boutique Heritage Hotel. So, so like literally you can just cross the street and, and they have like an amazing sunset. So that is so. exactly where you need to stay. And you're uh, right yeah, on Church it's like Street. It's a great location actually. Like history, the park across if it opens hopefully soon. It's just like, it's really cool. And 11 minutes away from here. So we are at... Oudekloof. There we go. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and we're, we're about to do the hike. So they do have tractor rides, they have farmers markets. Um, but we are just doing the hike. We're doing yeah. one of the hikes. We're doing the hike There's to the cannon. There's a few hikes or different routes that you can go. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit chilly. As you can see by can our jockeys. It's higher. to walk there. This girl doesn't know what's happening. <laughs> and everyone's just staring. Hello guys. Maybe you should tell the child to get out the road. Bad parenting. I don't want to chase him. Scare him. him. Yeah. No. There we go. There yes. we go, yes. baby. That's it. Okay, let me go past Aww. before we get scared. Good baby. Is it? Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, what I was saying was their wines are really dope so instead of having like although it's like still quality wine and it's like high class the wine premium is wine. premium wine but everything about it is fun so like it kind of takes the mickey out mickey out sort of but i mean instead of saying a chardonnay it's a chardonnay and yeah. instead of a sauvignon blanc it's a white wine <laughs> sauvignon white, white. <laughs> yeah so that's pretty fun and the Shiraz is, how did they say, serious? Uh, Ser serious, like serious. I can't, I don't know how they say it. Serious. 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 Something like that. <laughs> but yeah, super fun. Serious wine, but not so serious people. Yeah. So we are on our way out now. We didn't talk about the hike. We did the hike. Oh, we did the hike. Cammy was like a real mountaineer. Like a real like mountaineer. Like a real hiker. Ooh, it's a little bit steep. Okay, so wait, this is what we wanted to show you. This is why we started the vlog at this point in time. And now, yeah, we just ran over with a whole bunch of other stuff. There is a river we have to cross, and I don't like crossing rivers, but we shall, because otherwise we can't leave. So, here we go. Yeah. Look at it. Um, it's okay. I looked. Drive. No, man. 
Say this side. <laughs> it's overexposed. Okay, so we're back now to talk about the hike because I put away the vlogging camera once we had passed the river. So, the hike. The pass, the Odeklof Pass, is the second oldest pass in the country. The oldest being Sir Lowry's Pass. And it is one, uh, one of the steepest, or the steepest, it's at certain sections got a ratio of 1 to 4. So, we couldn't, we definitely couldn't do that in our little sedan. Um, but it sounds fun. And then there's, so you hike past the cannon that used to signal, you know, they would, as soon as someone would see a ship coming in then they would just fire a cannon and the next person would fire a cannon and so on so that you could let all the farmers know that there's a ship coming in so that they can prepare all their fresh produce to take to the docks which would take three weeks to prepare but anyway so we walked past that cannon which they had taken down so they dragged it down the mountain so it's got like this flat edge that's been scraped, scraped. and then they refurbished it in 1988 so I, I didn't remember the date. But. And then they flew it up with the helicopter. Then we passed the commemoration monument for making it through the pass with the ox wagons, which is kind of like a compass needle pointing towards town. Which is also very crazy if you actually come see how steep it is, see what a climb it is, and to imagine ox wagons getting over that is just mind-boggling. I wonder how long it all took. But anyway, looking through, looking at Tulbach from there was fantastic. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And now, that is it. onward. That is it, Tamsin. Yeah. That, oh, this is it. That's it. That's it. We're done forever. <laughs> forever. <laughs> All for like now. For like now. Like now or for now? For like now. So. Oh, how am I supposed what? to, what kind of road is this? I don't know, you gotta I'm go gonna, there, you gotta go. No, I gotta uh, go here. Okay. Oh. Well, we're saying goodbye is the thing. So, Bye. Bar, please like, hope subscribe you and stuff and <laughs> follow our journey. And yeah, we hope that you enjoyed this vlog. And I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>